In this video, I would like to introduce you the anatomy of the spine. Let's call it our goal of all the treatments. That means to restore the anatomy is the best result we can achieve. To do this, we would need to understand the anatomy of the spine. Spine consists of vertebrae, seven cervical, 12 thoracic, then we are talking about the five lumbar spine, uh, lumbar vertebra, the coccygis bone, and obviously the pelvis. Everything is based on the spine itself, on the bony structures, which are the foundation of our muscular system. If the muscular system is dip disproportional, also the spinal vertebra are making movements which are unhealthy. We have to also know that the spine has to have curvatures. So this is the cervical lordosis, this is the thoracic kyphosis, then it goes back to the lumbar lordosis. So this is how the spine should look like. In between the vertebra, we have the intervertebral discs and these little yellow structures are the spinal nerves. And these are the mostly vulnerable pieces of, our, of the structures out of which the problems are very often caused. Also, when there is deformation of the spinal cord in the cervical area, you may feel some kind of problems. We will now focus mainly on two parts, the lumbar spine and then the cervical area. The lumbar spine is very often and the most commonly vulnerable part of our spinal spine because of the way we live nowadays. And therefore, a lot of destruction happens not on the vertebra themselves, but on the intervertebral discs. So those elements which are then balancing the spine that it has its curvatures. What is important here to know is that when this lumbar area usually gets straight, okay? And when it gets straight, you can see the change of the whole spine and how the body then behaves and looks like. If the lordosis of the lumbar spine is straightened, there is a huge pressure on the area of the intervertebral discs in the lumbar area. And this very often causes so-called herniation of these intervertebral discs which then makes a pressure on the spinal nerves and the muscles which are spasmatic. So that means they are contracted and the super contraction of these muscles is leading to the pain. And this is the subjective feeling that we try to fight it. Many people they use painkillers or do something about it, but they are just taking or killing the symptoms. They are not really going after the reason of their problems. And this is where it comes to our treatment and holistic approach of our treatments during our complex spa stays, during one week, two or three weeks. So our common goal, both guests and healthcare professionals, is to restore the anatomical curvatures of our cord, our spine, to get rid of herniations like this and get back to the normal status, which at the end means less pain, better movements, better quality of life and obviously continuation at home is also part of the educational piece of the stay 
in our spot.